Hey guys, Carp from CQB Radio here. Today we're looking at this item, which is the H&K USP. This is the CO2 version, and I think this is a fantastic item that Umarex has put out because it's very inexpensive, and yet it shoots really hard. So a great, great gun if you're getting into airsoft, or if you want to get a hold of a CO2 pistol so you can play in all kinds of weather, this I think is a fantastic option. Let's look at this guy a little bit more in depth. Okay, in the package you're going to get a bunch of different things. Obviously you're going to get the gun, you're going to get your magazine, you get an Allen wrench there that you're going to use to uh, open up the bottom of the magazine so you can put your CO2 cartridge in there, in there. You get some information here. This yellow one reminds you to do not return this product to the store but to get it back to Umarex if you need to get any repairs done on it. This guy over here is your registration. This is just a little advertisement from Umarex. And then this is your uh, instruction manual for the H&K USP CO2 version. Okay, now the first thing I want to note is that if you want real trades, this is a great option for you. So you can see HK USP down here on the bottom of the pistol grip. Up there on the top, you get H and K USP. More HK trades on this side, down here on the pistol grip, HK USP. And then up here it says HK as well. It's obviously got some writing there, some safety warnings, but it does also say right there in the writing that this guy is licensed by H and K. So Plenty of trades, if that's what you want on a pistol, this is a good option for you. Alright, let's talk about this gun a little bit more now, and let me first note that you can see that square block in the background. That's actually a sanding block that I'm using to put this guy, basically prop this guy up at an angle so you can see a little bit better, but just want to let you know what that is. Okay, so this is a CO2 gun. It uh, does not have the blowback feature that you get on you know most gas blowback guns. This upper slide is metal, the lower portion of the gun is plastic. It's not like a super high quality plastic, but it does feel um, solid. It's not going to break on you. One of my favorite functions of this gun is actually the selector switch. So this guy locks into place for safe and for fire really easily. And when you're actually holding the gun, your thumb reaches up there and you can move it back and forth really quickly. Some guns you really kind of have to stretch your hand or re-angle your hand to put the safety on or to put it onto, into the uh, firing position. This, this gun, piece of cake. You also can see there's a rail up here in the front. So you can attach lasers, you can attach a flash, flashlight if you want to do that. Now your mag release is right here. So you're going to press this guy down and you can see that the mag pops out there. Let me flip this guy around to the other side just to tell you a little about what's over there. Now speaking of the safety uh, function, just watch how quickly this guy... I mean, it's just so easy to put it on fire, put it on safe, put it on fire, put it on safe. So that's one thing I really like about this guy. You can also see your... Uh, you know, white dot sights for night and better target acquisition there. So just want to let you see how quickly and easy it is to put it on safe, put it on fire, put it on safe. Really nice feature of this USB. On this side, the thing worth noting is nothing. There's really nothing on the side other than I mentioned the HK trades, but there's nothing over here, uh, you know, worth checking out really. I will show you what the sights look like in a second, but let's take a look at the mag a little bit in case you've never used a CO2 uh, pistol before just to show you how it functions. Here is your magazine. It's made of the same plastic that the lower receiver, the lower portion of the gun uh, is made of, so definitely solid, not going to break on you, but not something, you know, super expensive or uh, that they would put put into a more uh, high-end gun. Now, to get this guy open, basically you're going to put your hex wrench into this uh, hole here on the bottom, and as you can see, it says which way to go open and close. When you do, you're going to have take this little um, round piece is going to come right off, and then you're going to slide your CO2 cartridge in there. In there, a recommendation they give you in the manual is to put a tiny dab of lubricant on the top of the CO2 cartridge before you pierce it, and then slide it back in. And then when you put the um, this little cap piece on, you're going to crank it down until it's in there very secure, and basically that's going to pierce the CO2 cartridge and release the CO2 as you fire it out. Similar to most gas blowback magazines, you got this little release lever there and then you got where your CO2 is coming out inside there and you can see that it loads the same way uh, most gas blowback pistols do. You pull your spring down and fill up the magazine. So very easy to use. I'll talk a little bit about the advantages or disadvantages of this guy tactically in a second but that's how you put the uh, CO2 into your magazine. All right, let me talk about this guy a little bit tactically. Now, if you haven't used CO2 before, uh, one thing worth noting is you get a lot of bang for your buck out of each CO2 cartridge. So 
You can get a five pack of Crossman CO2 cartridges for about four bucks, so less than a dollar a piece. And out of each uh, cartridge, you're gonna get 200 to 300 shots. I did a, a review of the Taurus 24 seven, a bunch of podcasts ago, and that's what I was getting out of those CO2 cartridges. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Now the disadvantage is if you buy another mag and you got two CO2 cartridges, one in each, one in each mag, and say you unload two full mags, you still got, you know, if you get say 200 shots, out of each mag you got 400 shots that you could use and you've only used say you know 30 shots or 40 shots 40 BBs you got a lot of wasted CO2 there so as compared to green gas you usually get you know two to two and a half maybe three mags out of each um, out of each fill with your green gas so pluses and minuses there definitely a plus of CO2 is you can use it in colder weather as opposed to green gas or propane that definitely suffers in the warm weather or in the uh, cold weather the other thing to be aware of is this guy can shoot 350 up to 370, 375 FPS. So it definitely shoots hard and you got to be aware of whatever your regulations are for your field. So, you know, if you're in a CQB situation where if you go indoors from being outside or you go into a bunker from being outside and the regulations are, say, 325 to 350, make sure when you chrono this guy, it is not shooting too hot for your field. So just keep that in mind. So that wraps up this review of the H&K licensed USP made by Umarex. This is the CO2 version. If you haven't checked out the new blog site, the new website, it's airsofttrainingresource.blogspot.com. Again, airsofttrainingresource.blogspot.com. And in light of you know building this site that's talking about being an effective airsoft player and training and such, I would definitely say that there are some advantages and disadvantages to this guy. Uh, definite advantage is you get a lot of bang for your buck out of the CO2 cartridges. It shoots hard. It's very inexpensive for a gun that you can you know, legitimately use in an airsoft game. It's not some cheap springer. Disadvantages are that it might be too hot for, um, for using in some airsoft situations, facilities, games, operations, depending on what the regulations are. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you want to use this as a training pistol, because it is shooting you know, above 350 with CO2, you're going to be probably getting better range uh, and better accuracy than you would with your average gas blowback pistol, which is shooting probably in the low 300s. Another thing to keep in mind as far as using this as a training weapon is that you don't have a hop-up adjustment. So where it shoots is where it shoots. You don't get a chance to adjust your hop-up up or down and you know give it a longer trajectory. So keep that in mind. This is definitely a great option. Glad that I have it. Uh, check it out. You can find it over at EVIC. Again, the H&K USP made by Umarex. This is Carp from CQB Radio. Thanks for checking out the review. Keep on firing.